What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a menu cart to your header using Elementor. Now I have done a video on this in the past and I thought I would kind of update that video since I did create it a while back. Um, so this is how it's going to work. So whenever someone clicks on add to cart you're going to get this cool looking um, sidebar cart here and people can view it on the cart page and the checkout. And you also get this icon here that shows them the amount of um, products that they have on their cart. So I can go ahead and maybe select a new one here. And as you can tell, it works really nicely. So if you guys wanna learn how to create this um, cart menu sidebar here, go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard, go to plugins, and you're gonna to wanna to install and activate a plugin called Boostify Header Footer Builder. I already have this installed on my website, um, but I'll have a link to this down in the description so you guys can check that out. Now, go ahead and edit your header. I'm using uh, Boostify to edit my header. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit, uh, edit header with Elementor here. And now we can go ahead and start editing our header. Now, of course, your panel will look the same thing if you're using the pro version. You can go ahead and just use um, the the theme builder for um, Elementor. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down and we're gonna see a cart icon here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this cart icon that I have here. Um, sorry, this um, search icon. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my cart icon right here. And then I'm gonna extend this so then this can fit. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove my total here. Um, I'm gonna remove my subtotal there and I'm gonna change this to a cart, uh, probably a cart solid. And then I'm gonna move this down a bit. There we go. And then now you are able to leave your subtotal, that's totally optional, but um, that's up to you. And then you can go ahead and align this if you feel like you need to. And then for my cart, um, for my style of my uh, cart here, as you can tell, whenever I hover over this, I get this cool looking um, cart box here that shows me all the products that I have in my cart. Now, I actually want a sidebar instead. So you can go ahead and click on cart sidebar. And then whenever you click on this, you're gonna have this cool looking sidebar. I honestly prefer the sidebar. I think it looks a lot better. Now you have the option to either display that on the right or the left, but I'm gonna display mine on the right here. And then now we can go to style here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make this cart a little bit bigger. So on the font size, I'm gonna adjust that and make it look like a a little bit bigger there. There we go, now that's perfect. Okay, and then you can go ahead and change the color of your cart, maybe you want it red. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it black. You can also add a, add a hover effect if you wanted to do that. I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, and then you can also adjust the settings for the counter as well. Basically the amount of products that you have on your cart. Um, but since I'm not showing the subtotal, I really don't have to go over those settings here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my cart heading. Now, if I were to click on this here, this is where we can start adjusting these colors here. So as you can tell my title, which is my shopping cart title there, I can make this red if I wanted to or switch that around, but I'm gonna leave that as black. And then my counter is basically the amount of products that I have in my cart. So I can go ahead and adjust this if I wanted to, maybe I wanted to make this blue instead for some reason, I could do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at red. I think that looks great. And I can also adjust the sizing of this as well. Let me go ahead and click on this again. Um, and then you can adjust the sizing of that, but I'm gonna leave it as is. I think it's perfect how it was. And then I'm gonna just leave these settings as is. And then I'm gonna go into my cart content. So this is basically what's in my cart. Now I can start adjusting these titles here. So if I wanted to change the title of each product here, uh, sorry, the title color of each product, I can go ahead and do that just by clicking here but I'm gonna leave it as black. I think black was fine already. And I can even make this a little bit bigger if I wanted to, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that a little smaller. I think that's perfect. And you can go ahead and just adjust these settings here if you feel free. Now, probably one of the most important parts are uh, my buns here. Um, you definitely wanna change those colors around. For instance, I would change my checkout color to red. Um, let me actually that's the color of the text. Sorry about that. Let me make that white here. And then my background here should be red. 
just so then it looks more of a call to action is um is more viewable you always want that more viewable for people so then uh they can go ahead and go straight to checkout and buy your product so i'm going to go ahead and just click on this again and i'm going to make sure my hover effect is also set to red as well there we go so now that's perfect and if you wanted to just a view cart color you can do it the same way that i just did the checkout button color but i think that's looking good and then i'm going to go into my um shop here and now I'm going to go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add to cart. And as you can tell, it adds it to my cart. I already had that one added. So let me go ahead and add a new one here. Oops. Let me go back here. Um, this one here. There we go. Now I can even go into here and then select it here. Maybe choose a certain um, color here. And then I can add it. And then I can view this on my cart as well. So now that's all set up there. And then people can easily just go straight to the checkout page. Um, and they can easily check out. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you did find this helpful, um, make sure to like the video and subscribe for the channel. And um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.